but they're actually uh, textured, they're kind of bumpy. That's obviously showing cacao, the main source of income for some people in town. The bright colored buses heading to one of the other uh, little towns. Speaking of buses, I took a bus from San Gil to Bucaramanga and then uh, from Bucaramanga, which I think is the biggest town in uh, Santander, it took two and a half hours. And it was a climb up into the mountains and a beautiful, beautiful drive at that. And so, I'm gonna to be totally honest with you. I, when we were first starting to come into San Vicente de Chucuri, really pretty. So I had my expectations up. And then, the 
town, I guess maybe I uh, had bigger expectations because let me show you the colorful staircase over here on the other side of the road. I don't know where this goes to, but anyway, back to my story. Because I've been to towns like Haradin and Antioquia and the super popular Salento, I kind of had my hopes up that the uh, town was going to be full of stores that were all brightly painted different colors and things like that, like it, like it is in Salento, but it wasn't like that. So it was uh, a little disappointing, it's just more of a regular town, although as you'll see even when I just turn the camera around here, I mean they do paint some of the buildings different colors and things, but not near as nice and everything as Salento, but it's still, it's growing on me. I like it. It's a very busy area right in downtown, so I'm kind of on the outskirts here. Just checking things out. This is the way that I went to get to the Cascada or Salto de la India yesterday. So I know there's a bridge coming up here. And I'm kind of curious, there's something across the street over here that they're making some kind of food. I want to check it out. And now we got the, the loud music and the blaring speakers, of course. It's almost like the surf is in, is in town over on the other side there. I'll show you in a minute. Looks like we have a, a little lunch place where they're roasting the meat over a open fire, which they do quite often here in Colombia. Let's see what else we have down here. This is, except this is the outskirts on one side of town. Heads towards the place called Carmen de Chupan. I like these little uh, little restaurants on the outskirts of town like this. With the bamboo. So for the most part, this area here is just uh, workshops, things like that. It's like they uh, need to change the tire over there, so you got your usual six guys to do it. And I'll go back across the street, show you some of the little regular shops. One thing you find very consistently in Colombia is that some of the poorest neighborhoods some of the poorest people. They live in some of the most lush, beautiful areas of the towns and cities. So I'm just going to discreetly pass by some of these shops so you can see ordinary people just doing their thing. jobs but I find it kind of interesting because they're very hard-working people down here when they're uh, you know, just getting by day to day kind of thing. All right I'm just coming into that little area just across the bridge here. I'm gonna have to record in little spurts. Got your chicharron. I'm gonna have to record in little spurts because the music's loud in here. And I don't want to get copyright strikes. Cotton candy here. Got your hats. Again, more meats just cooking on an open fire over here. So we got all kinds of different meats. I might have to check 
place out tomorrow for lunch. Here's a nice little tile mural showing a parrot. And looks like a student in the mountains. And you're coming around the corner. Got a bunch of bamboo over there in the creek. And then you come around the corner and you see this staircase beautifully painted with a tree and birds and when you're nice and level all looks like a nice painting you've got a mural on the wall and then you come around the corner and you see this nice painted place and it looks and then it looks like you're entering Salento maybe a glimpse of the church and the kind of side behind angle
And this area here looks really, really nice. With a bit of twilight. And the lights are starting to come on. Very festive atmosphere now. All kinds of foods. Drunken little kids. So basically all the stuff that you see in the stores is now all set up for sale in these tents here. Gracias. 